Welcome, this presentation will give you an overview of the Bluebolt Zigbee Gateway. Bluebolt enabled smart plugs and explain the connectivity and setup of these Bluebolt devices. Upon completing this module, you should be able to understand the Bluebolt Zigbee Gateway, understand Bluebolt enabled smart plugs, and understand how to set up each device using Bluebolt's cloud based software. Bluebolt allows you to control and monitor your power and energy from any web-enabled device. Minimize service calls by rebooting problem electronics remotely, thus keeping systems running reliably with Bluebolt devices. Bluebolt's energy management features let you rest easy knowing you are doing your part to monitor and conserve energy. The Bluebolt BBZB1 gateway is the heart of the Bluebolt system and allows for creating a ZigBee network for use with other Bluebolt ZigBee enabled devices. The BBZB1 can effectively support up to 15 devices and additional gateways may be used to expand the network. The BBZB1 has an effective range of 100 feet from the gateway to the first Bluebolt ZigBee enabled device. The BBZB1's Ethernet connection allows for Bluebolt communications to and from Bluebolt devices in the ZigBee network. The newest addition to the Bluebolt family is the award-winning SP-1000. The SP-1000 features two outlets, one front-facing and one down-facing. A single relay controls both outlets. The SP-1000's compact design allows it to fit in tight spaces, making it an ideal choice for remotely monitoring and controlling household electronics. The SP-1000 can also be used as a Zigbee repeater to extend a Zigbee network. The Bluebolt SP1000 Smart Plug features indicator lights and a button on the top of the unit. The power indicator lights illuminate blue to ensure that the unit is powered on. The network indicator illuminates green when assigned to a BBZB1 gateway, and red when not assigned to a gateway. The power network button is used to turn the outlets on and off, overriding Bluebolt commands, or to add the SP1000 to a BBZB1 gateway when wireless joining is enabled. The Bluebolt enabled Panamax MD2ZB is a dual outlet smart plug. The MD2ZB's outlets are each controlled and monitored independently of each other. The MD2ZB features protect or disconnect surge protection and EMI and RFI noise filtration. The MD2ZB communicates to the Bluebolt gateway using Zigbee. At one and a half inches deep, the MD2ZB may be used in a variety of applications, including behind AV equipment and household appliances. The Panamax MD2ZB Smart Plug features two power indicator lights to ensure that each outlet is powered on. The Network Demand Response Indicator illuminates green when assigned to a BBZB1 gateway and red when not assigned to a gateway. The MD2ZB features a wiring fault indicator light that illuminates red when the MD2ZB is connected to an improperly wired wall outlet. The Outlet 1 and Outlet 2 buttons are used to turn the outlets on and off locally, overriding Bluebolt commands, and can be pressed simultaneously to add the MD2ZB to a BBZB1 gateway when wireless joining is enabled. Bluebolt devices are designed to be easily added to any project. Simply ensure the BBZB1 gateway has internet access. Connect the Ethernet port of the BBZB1 to an unused Ethernet port on a modem, router, or Ethernet switch. With the BBZB1 connected, simply install the SP1000s and or MD2ZB smart plugs where control and energy monitoring are needed. Remember to add the MD2ZB smart plugs for devices that need to be protected from electrical surges such as PCs, HDTVs, and appliances. With all the Bluebolt devices in place, ensure the BBZB1 gateway is powered on. Using a PC, log in to mybluebolt.com to begin adding the gateway and smart plugs to your Bluebolt account. If you do not have a Bluebolt account, then select Create an Account to create a new account. Once your Bluebolt account is created, you may log in and begin adding the gateway and smart plugs. If this is your first time logging into Bluebolt, 
Click the Would you like to add a location now link to add the location the BBZB1 will be installed at. Enter the name of the location in the location field and note this field is required. The installation date should populate with the current year and month. Set the correct time zone where the Bluebolt devices will be installed at and note if daylight savings time is observed at the installation location. The default device view drop-down lets you select the default view when a device is selected from this location's device list. The client info fields are optional and used for reference purposes only. When finished, select the Add Location button to add this location to your Bluebolt account. With a location added to an account, a BBZB1 may now be added to the new location. Select the location name to add the BBZB1. The Add Devices button will let us add an Ethernet connected Bluebolt enabled device, such as the BBZB1, to the selected location. Selecting Add Devices will bring up the Add an Ethernet Device option. Enter the MAC address and challenge key found on the bottom of the BBZB1 in the area shown. Once the MAC address and challenge key have been entered, select Register Now to add the BBZB1 to the selected location. Once the BBZB1 has been added, the gateway will be displayed as a device at the selected location. Select the newly added BBZB1 to begin setting up the gateway. The BBZB1 setup page features tabs across the top to access different setup menus for the BBZB1. Select Device Admin to access the Devices Administration page. The Device Admin page has options for changing the BBZB1's name, checking the firmware and IP info of the BBZB1, and deleting the BBZB1 from the selected location. Select Change this device's name to enter the desired name in the Device Label field. When the new name for the device has been entered, select Save Details to save the new name and return to the Select Location main page. Now that the device has successfully been renamed, it is recommended that you verify the firmware on the BBZB1. Select Device Firmware and IP Info to view the BBZB1's current firmware and current IP address. Verify the BBZB1 has firmware version 1.1.0 or higher installed. If the firmware version is not up to date on the BBZB1, select the Upgrade to version 1.1.0 button to begin the firmware update. This update will need to be performed before adding the SP1000. Please note that some firmware updates may take up to 30 minutes. With the BBZB1 gateway set up, we can now begin to add Bluebolt smart plugs. To add a smart plug, select the Device Controls tab. The Device Controls page allows you to enable wireless joining and to see the devices assigned to the gateway. By default, wireless joining is disabled. To add a new device, enable wireless joining by selecting the Wireless Joining button. Once communication to the BBZB1 gateway has been established, the Wireless Joining button will turn green and show on. With Wireless Joining enabled, you may begin adding Bluebolt devices. If some guidance is needed when adding a Bluebolt device, select the Help button for step-by-step -step instructions on how to add the device. With wireless joining enabled on the BBZB1 gateway, the Panamax MD2ZB smart plug may be added. Press and hold the Outlet 1 and Outlet 2 buttons for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, the network indicator light will blink once and then turn green. The MD2ZB will appear in your My Bluebolt account and be associated to the selected BBZB1 gateway. Once the MD2ZB appears in your Bluebolt account, the unit is ready to be named and controlled. Name the MD2ZB something that easily references where the unit is located at in the installed location. This process may be repeated to add additional Bluebolt ZigBee enabled devices. When finished, turn wireless joining off. To add a Bluebolt SP1000 to a BBZB1, press and hold the Power Network button for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, the network indicator light will blink once and then turn green. The SP1000 will appear in your My Bluebolt account and be associated to the selected BBZB1 gateway. Once all smart plugs have been added and named, the units may be controlled using your Bluebolt account interface. Select the green power icon to toggle power on and off. 
Select the blue button to cycle power from on to off back to on. In this lesson, we have learned about the BBZB1 gateway, the Bluebolt enabled smart plugs, and how to add and control Bluebolt devices from a Bluebolt account. For more information on Bluebolt products and their capabilities, please visit the mybluebolt.com website and contact your local core brand's representative. Happy selling and thank you for listening.